Ten months after I first visited this remote part of Brittany, their house is ready to move into. And all those car tires seem but a distant memory. Which is looking very fine. Do you know, uh, I, what I really, really like are these, uh, these stone abutments, these big ends. Yeah, here. they've worked you know, well. They've worked terrific. really well. It looks like you've put a building sort of in between the ruins of something that was here previously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, every stone comes from the site. Yeah. So they've all been used in other houses before. And the bottle wall. <laughs> Ah, AD. You like it? Oh, this is proper, AD. You've done oh, a nice job. This thank is you. It's beautifully finished and detailed, and well, it's all scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> must be nice. Must look good on the inside. Can we go in? Yeah. Well, hey. what do you think? Hey. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, yeah. And boy, there's more bottle wall over there, isn't it? That's yeah. Um, yeah, that's great. And the kitchen is, is this uh, recycled wood, all this? Yeah, thing? sea groins. Really old. Oh, the, oak. yeah, the posts yeah. in the, on the beaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. old yeah. sea groins. Crafted into a beautiful, beautiful. totally functional kitchen. With the pl plywood doors and, I know, you've got matching wooden lights. These are, these are what, LEDs, aren't they? They give off almost no heat, do they? No, not at all, no. Uh, so I guess this is where you spend most of the time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think when we designed the house, we really wanted this to be the heart of the house. Because so much happens around you, the cooking, yeah, yeah. just relaxing, people doing things around the table. Yeah. How's the uh, big space through next door? Is that the, just as warm and, and, and comfortable? Outside, the rotunda always seemed like a, an architectural add-on to the flat-roofed building next door. Inside, however, the continuity of the curving walls stitches the main family space seamlessly to what is now a giant bedroom. Actually, it makes a good bedroom. It's a great big yeah. circular bed. Yeah. So what's that, it like to sleep in? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the walls, presume, they're still drying out, which is why they've got the, yeah? Yeah. When are you going to finish the uh, uplighters? Hey. <laughs> well, look at that, though. <laughs> they are Sorry. finished. <laughs> Sorry, that's not in my book. It's a kind of a rough finish, you know? <laughs> It's called texture. Earthy, yeah, I'm pleased to see. Texture. However, I'm pleased to see all, all the niches are in use and in operation. <laughs> so, so if the kitchen is the heart of the house, uh, what's this room then? It'll be the womb. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. The connection of heart and womb may all sound a bit earthy, but that's exactly what this house is. It's made of tons of earth and sand and clay. And if your or my house is made from earth cooked into bricks or clay fired into cement, this place wears its earthen heart on its sleeve. And its connection with where it is is all the stronger for that. This is a building not designed according to indulgent whim, but driven by a philosophy. So the bathroom now. Oh, this is good, isn't it? This yeah. is radically different from when I saw it last, <laughs> building that bottle of water, <laughs> which looks absolutely beautiful. And Darren did all of that, that's with all with reclaimed timber, and he constructed that, the beam that showers great on stuff. as well. You didn't carve the basin? No, no. That's great. I had some help with that. 